Hi. I got what I think is the newest IPA from Crooked Stave in Colorado, and they got a new logo, sort of a new branding, I guess they're doing. It's called Amplitude DDH IPA, 6% alcohol. It was canned February 6th, or I guess maybe it says 8th, actually. And that was about over a month and a half ago. <clears throat> so we'll see how it is. Um, it's the first time they've done this beer, and I don't know how it's that much different from their regular flagship IPA, which is also 6% alcohol. This one uses Citra, Azaka, Mosaic, and Motueka hops. Their flagship IPA uses the same ones, except they swap Amarillo for Citra. Um, but that one's not advertised as being double dry hopped. So let's just jump into this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I have, I've had a lot of different IPAs from, from Crooked Stave, but not in a while, for whatever reason. It seems like what actually gets shipped out here is kind of, you know, uneven. That looks really nice. Like, I don't, I think very, very few places actually even got this beer. But, very nice appearance. Real pale. The head looks really nice and creamy. I can see lots of bubbles at the very bottom of the glass there, Kona, but it's too hazy to see the carbonation in the middle of it. There you go. Yeah, from the looks of it, I would give it a pretty high rating. Hmm. It's pretty candy estery. It smells almost bubble gummy. More of like a, a juicy fruit gum, not your classic pink bubble gum sort of thing. And just, yeah, lots of those notes. Creamsicle-y, bubble gum, kind of birthday cake, vanilla. Not specifically fruity, juicy aromas are coming out of it. But maybe that'll change. It smells like it's going to be pretty sweet. A little spicier in the flavor. Pretty full body, but yeah, really low bitterness. Almost no bitterness. Um, yeah, definitely not a dry beer. And it's a bit of a seltzery sort of bitterly taste in the finish. Hmm. And there's a little bit of a chalkiness I'm getting out of this one, even after being so old. I guess it's, it's kind of good that they're able to get this all these sort of more superficial aspects about the beer really good. The, the haze has stayed good for over a month and a half. The head is really nice, good carbonation. And the carbonation isn't, is, isn't messing with the feel, but it's just not bright and very fruity and juicy, honestly. Maybe when it was really, really fresh, it had a little more fruity pop from the hops, but I don't know. It is really nice carbonation like, that, that keeps coming up. Maybe it's a little overcarved, perhaps, I don't know, but this head's just not gonna quit. It's gonna stay in there. And I'm not getting much dankness either. It's interesting they say double dry hopped. I'm, I'm sure one of those was uh, during fermentation for biotransformation or something like that. <laughs> But usually that means that then there will be another dry hopping after fermentation where you'll get some of that more in your face raw green hop. And I'm just not getting that out of this beer. And that's kind of what I'm missing. Um, I mean, it's definitely very, very hoppy. But I want more fruit and more raw in your, in your face hops. I guess they are still working on this stuff. Um, I can see them maybe figuring it out and getting it really good, but this just isn't quite, doesn't quite make it to my tastes. Um, they do pay close attention to a lot of other things about hazy IPA, appearance, feel, head, that a lot of brewers don't. 
So I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, Crooked Stave is just not the guy is, is focused on Brett and the but no one cares about Brett beers anymore. So they're making IPAs and stouts and all that stuff because you have to. Um, they don't even do their Brett, Brett IPA anymore or any of those ones, which I wish they did. Um, but I would prefer that over this, honestly. I'm not going to give up on them. This is also like not super expensive. Surprisingly, for like how it was a small limited release. For this, I'd probably give it a four. It's an interest, really interesting because it's what it does really well is what a lot of the breweries don't do well with this style. But what I would do with this is blend it with something else that's a little bit more citrusy and bitter. And then I might get, you know, all the good aspects of this combined with something else and it might end up being pure taste. But I do recommend people try blending your your hazy IPAs together, might be able to make your favorite blend.